This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Sky Harbor Resources, Mr. Jordan Trimble. Jordan, how are you? I understand you're snowed in, or most of the city is anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing well. We've uh, uh, even uh, though it's the middle of January, it's it's highly unusual getting this kind of weather. So it's been frigid cold, and we've we've had a whole bunch of snow the last few days so uh but uh, you know i'm here in the office where we're getting ready for the upcoming conferences and uh start of the new year let's uh i'd love to talk about the conferences and how people can connect with you but before that you had some news today that i want to go over um you announced your 2500 meter winter diamond drilling program of course at the high grade the flagship the more uranium project i know that we've been swinging for home runs the past couple of drill programs is that the approach this go around as well i uh, yeah i mean i you could put it that way i, I think uh, one of the uh, most important things that we we should highlight here and we talked a little bit about this uh in uh late in the year last year is uh, we are drilling uh looking for basement hosted targets we are looking for that larger higher grade deposit the source rock mineralization for the high grade uh, that we have at the sandstone and at the end conformity uh, we we've only really tested it with a few holes in the last couple of programs um, you know it's it's uh, it's a it's a new geological setting that hasn't seen a lot of uh, historical exploration so uh, most of the the, the, the previous drilling uh, in the few holes that we have drilled uh, in the previous drill programs testing these basement hosted targets uh, are you know are somewhat exploratory in nature that being said as we've talked about on previous interviews we've been hitting we've been hitting high grade mineralization the fact that within the first several holes we're intersecting multi percent uh, over uh, widths of two three percent that is high Highly, highly encouraging and worth noting. Um, it's not easy finding, uh, honing in on these high-grade deposits, and the fact that uh, we, we are finding high-grade mineralization that early on, uh, I think, is a, a testament to you know the the, the targeting uh, and the vectoring of these of these zones to to the geological to our geological team. But I think most importantly, uh, it bodes well for this upcoming drill program. And as we talked about uh, again a few months back, we carried out uh, additional geophysics drone uh, geophysics that's uh, again shown us and refined uh, additional targets new uh, and existing targets uh, that have we've improved in the basement rocks and uh, as the news release points out uh, the the main the highest priority drill target that we'll be testing uh, which is at the east maverick zone uh, we're going right back into where we intersected 2.5 uh, percent over 2.3 meters uh, in one of the last holes in the last drill program. We were we were weren't able to go back and and uh, follow up on that drill hole, but that's a notable result, and we think we've nicked uh, uh, the top uh, or the edge of something much larger. Uh, we can see hmm. that with the with the geophysics uh, with cross-cutting structures and features. We think there's more to be found there down plunge, uh, which is uh, where the first few holes are going to be targeted. So that's a, a, a primary uh, and high priority drill target that we'll be going after. Uh, and as you can see in the news release, we have uh, additional targets along strike to the northeast at our Goose and Viper zones, which uh, uh, are about uh, 500 meters and a kilometer and a half, respectively, away from uh, the Maverick and East Maverick zones. The program, Jordan, as I understand it, fully funded, of course, and should consist of, what, seven to nine diamond drill holes? Yeah, so seven to nine dr uh, diamond drill holes, uh, as we point out, 2,500 meters. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive to drill there, especially in the winter. Um, your drill costs come down. It's easier to get around on the project. So uh, I like to think that our discovery costs are coming down. Our return on drilling, as I like to say, uh, improves. Uh, and uh, just talked about the, the the three main target areas that we'll be drill testing, uh, and uh, in particular with a focus on the, the basement 
uh, basement rocks at uh, on this main Maverick corridor. But another thing to point out is that this Maverick corridor, we know there's high-grade mineralization, previous drill holes that have intersected over 20% U308. Um, it's still wide open along strike. There's only been about um, two kilometers of the total four kilometers that's been systematically drill tested. Uh, but also, uh, it's pretty wide open in the basement rocks as well. We've just now recently started drilling uh, into these uh, basement rocks looking for the feeder zones. You're entering a pretty important time for the company, Jordan, because you also have partner-funded programs at both Preston and the East Preston Project. Can we speak to that a bit? Yeah, so uh, in addition to our upcoming drill program, which will commence shortly, we have partner-funded programs that will be starting up. Uh, it will start with Azincourt. Uh, they announced last week a 2,500-meter drill program that they're mobilizing for. That will commence uh, shortly at our East Preston project. And this is a, a, a very important program, both for them and us. This is really the first real kick at the can uh, with significant meterage in a drill program at East Preston um, uh, since they acquired uh, the option for the project uh, back in 2017. Uh, just to remind uh, your listeners, that's a, a part of the earn-in option uh, that uh, uh, requires them to spend $2.5 in exploration over a three-year period. This program, they have a budget of $1.2 million, so uh, should complete uh, that the remaining part of that earn-in. Uh, and then there's some cash payments as well. Uh, in particular, uh, uh, we will be getting a $200,000 cash payment uh, uh, over the next uh, several months as a part of that 70% uh, earn-in on the project for them to complete the earn-in. Uh, but uh, most importantly, having them go and fund the exploration, the drilling, uh, and this upcoming 2,500-meter drill program testing the best targets that they've uh, that they've delineated and that they've refined over the last several years. So we'll have news flow uh, that will benefit from uh, on uh, the East Preston project, uh, as well as at our Preston project, we had news out prior to the new year, uh, Arano planning a large geophysical and field program uh, that will commence here shortly, and that will lead into a drill program later this year. So all in all, you have about 5,000 meters of uh, planned drilling to commence shortly, uh, multiple programs that will be underway uh, come February, March. So lots of news flow, and the bulk of that is being funded uh, by partner companies. Jordan, how can people get a hold of you during conference season, which, of course, we have several upcoming conferences that I know Sky Harbor will be um, presenting at, I'm not sure if you're, you're speaking this year, is that correct? I am, yeah. So I'm presenting at uh, the upcoming Vancouver Resource Investment Conference, uh, which is uh, this upcoming Sunday and Monday. We have a booth there, booth 404, so feel free to swing by. Uh, my talk uh, and presentation I'm giving is on the Sunday at 210 p.m. in the afternoon in workshop three, so uh, feel free to come by. Uh, and then we'll also have a presence at a few other conferences coming up, including PDAC. I'm giving a presentation uh, at there as well at the Uranium Talks uh, in uh, in the afternoon, I believe on the uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, so uh, lots of um, conferences uh, coming up. Uh, timing is, I think, great with uh, all the upcoming catalysts and news flow that we have over the next uh, several months here. Afternoon presentations are ideal, as you know, because hopefully you're not competing with the bar, Jordan. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I look forward to chatting. Lots of news flow over the coming weeks and months. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Gerardo.